Hey everybody, Phil Easy here. I'm in the greenhouse. It's a super hot day today. And look what's happening with the cucumbers. We have a lot of wilting going on. I'm going to take you through ways you can minimize this happening, what to do if it does happen, and all that good stuff. Thanks for checking me out again. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and smash the thumbs up. Let's go. So when it comes to these drooping leaves, there's a couple things you can do as, uh, to try to prevent some of this happening. One of them would be get on a schedule where you can wake up early if it gets hot early and water your plants. Uh, well, I like to water them in the morning. This morning I didn't. I had something to take care of elsewhere and that's why I think we're part of why we're seeing this effect here uh, today. So I focus first at the bottom of the plant, check it out and see how much um, moisture there is in the soil. If there isn't much moisture, then you're going to want to add water. That's what I've just done now is I've watered the bed because it was quite dry. I believe that's one of the reasons why we're seeing a lot of this wilting. The other thing I do as a preventative step is to have mulch. I find that that retains moisture and keeps things cooler down at the root level. So that would be my other recommendation um, too right there for, for trying to stop this from happening. Uh, lots of good moisture early in the morning. Get on that schedule. Don't give it too much water if you happen to have soil that doesn't drain well. Uh, you don't want to block out all the oxygen from the roots that will end up causing further issues to your plant and you can overwater causing wilting. So it can get real confusing with that. So just every day or two, depending on if you're in a greenhouse or whatever and your temperatures, make sure you get early in the morning, get that moisture into the ground. So the other factor to consider in your greenhouse or hoop house or wherever you happen to be is the temperature, especially when we're talking these structures because it can get really warm. I happen to keep track of that. I don't know if that comes out reverse or normal for you, but I can see today it peaked at 41 degrees Celsius. Um, that's quite warm. It's 35 in here right now. So you want to try to find ways that you can bring down the temperature in your greenhouse or hoop house on these sorts of days. I've done it in a couple ways. I have at one end of my hoop house, I have a window where the breeze can come through at the top. And then on this end, on these really hot days, I'll show you here, I've actually got a fan, little fan here. I probably do, should do more, but I've got this little fan installed here. And I'll run this thing, I'll turn it back on, and it will blow the hot air out that way. And then the last way I keep the temperatures down in here is going to be, I'll take you outside, and I'll show you the outside of the greenhouse is I have a skirt or hoop house. So with this particular design, what we can do is we can roll up the sides. And I keep those open right now. Uh, again, it allows a lot more airflow in there, keeps those temperatures down and allows us to try to minimize how much stress is happening on those cucumber plants. As I'm doing the cucumbers, trying to get these leaves to perk back up, I noticed uh, the jar that I had done before of uh, cucumber clones. So I have a video on this. Check it out though, but it's super cool. The link will be above, but it's how to make clones out of cucumber plants. This one's totally rooting. Tons of roots are coming out. It's time to get this into the ground. Now, if you find that after you do some of these things, like getting moisture into your soil, bringing down the temperature, Later in the evening, check out your plants. If you find that they've perked back up, the temperature's down in the greenhouse or the hoop house, that's a good thing, not a huge deal. Just try to get on top of that schedule. Now, if they're staying wilted though, and they're not perking back up, that could be different things going on there. There could be a virus, there could be problems with overwatering. There's various things that can lead to that. This video is for when we're just trying to deal with the heat and the effects that it has on the plants and trying to minimize the stress that we're causing these plants. And I believe by doing that, we're going to maximize or bring up their uh, production of fruit for us. I'm going to show you a last little update at the end of this video, though, of how these leaves perk up because I've, believe it or not, I've missed it a couple times now where I don't get them watered on the schedule I should be doing. So we're going to have to check in at the end of the evening here or later into the evening when it cools off, the water's soaked in. I'm going to see if these perk back up. I'm hoping they do. But thanks everybody for checking me out. 
Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and smash the thumbs up. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye. I'm back out in the greenhouse, and I'm not exaggerating. It's only about 10, 15 minutes later. A lot, not all, but most of these leaves here have perked back up. And the temperature, I checked, looks like it's about 30 degrees right now, so it's dropped too. A couple good things have happened, so this would confirm for me that I should have been more on top of it this morning, because I knew it was going to be a hot day. Alright, have a good day everyone. We'll see you soon. Take care.